Hey everyone, it's Jason from EskimoTV.net. My wife recently released a little album called Midnights. Uh, you may or may not have heard of her. She's a little up and coming indie artist who goes by Taylor Swift. And uh, in all seriousness, uh, I'm really excited to be opening each of these variants. I did order these weeks ago when they were released on her store, but they just got into my hands 30 minutes of me recording this video here on November 3rd, 2022. And so um, I did get the Blood Moonstone record and the cassette early on, and then I was surprised with a gift of the Lavender record for my birthday, November 1st, a few days ago. So that was really nice. And then these were the three, the Jade, Mahogany, Blood Moon. And um, these three took the longest to arrive at my house. And I would have picked them up from Target, but I actually um, was able to get my hands on the editions that have the signed photo insert. So I really wish that Artists would sign the front of the record. I'm not sure if they realize that that's more sought out or if it's just easier for production wise to have them sign a paper and then insert all of those into the records. But nonetheless, I'm excited to have four different inserts that are signed by Taylor. I have a lot of respect for Taylor. She is such a talented artist and I typically don't variant collect, but what got me was one, obviously the insert signed photo, but really the thing that got me, I would have just got one if that was the case, but was this clock idea. I did order the vinyl clock and I do plan to display it. Notice each of these, I don't have enough room here to like show them all like connected, but you can see that these, when you put them all together, it's a clock as Taylor has infamously said. The other thing that makes me a little bit more okay collecting these is each of the jackets is totally different. When people often variant collect, some of the times I, I just don't want to do it. Like It's kind of the same artwork. With this one, at least you're kind of getting different covers. And I know she did something like that with folklore, but the and I didn't really collect all of those. But what got me here is the clock, which I think is really cool. It's unique. Taylor being one of my favorite artists, I think a clock, something that I'm going to use. I also love how the spine here has different colors. And so I'm just going to go through these one by one, take a look, and then we'll look at the cassette at the very end. So I'm going to start with the Moonstone Blue Edition. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I've been uh, fighting so much temptation to not open these, but I'm really excited to be doing that now. So got a little opening there. I really want to be careful with these. And so I will be displaying four of them and then having one on my vinyl shelf. I'm not sure if I want to display the um, lavender, the moonstone, because those do have the same back. The one difference though, is that the moonstone has a blue colored letters here, whereas the lavender, notice that these are purple. So same photo, same numbers, but they did pay attention to detail enough to change the coloring of the letters. I think I'm gonna display Moonstone and keep Lavender since it is kind of the one that's from Target. And so let's go ahead and take a look here. We have our inside of the record. Oh, and before I get too ahead of myself, here is the up close sticker of the hand signed photo. It says collect all four special editions. There are four that were sold through her web store. And then one from Target. That is the one that is not hand signed. So looking in the first flap we have here, the signed photo. Really cool. Love it. And I do like that each of the signed photos are different. Of course, that's how they get you to buy more. And this also comes with a nice booklet 
which I like. And I like that she signed the insert, but like kept the booklet separate. That's pretty cool. I think everyone in any edition would be getting this. And it has the lyrics to each of the songs. I really like this album. So far, at the time of this recording, uh, Karma has to be my favorite song. And that could change, but uh, that is my favorite song at the moment. I really like Snow on the Beach, Maroon, Anti-Hero, but they're all so, so good. So it's kind of hard for me to say, like, like, there's no bad tracks on this album. I will say I do have an opinion that the... Um, 3 a.m. edition, which was released the same day as this, it was a surprise set of extra tracks, will probably uh, be pressed for something special, maybe like a one-year anniversary or like a Black Friday. And so anyways, here is my Moonstone edition. It's really nice. Would have liked to have had maybe a little bit more texture on this specific one I got. I have like this kind of dark blue spot. It would have been cool to have a little bit more of that. But nonetheless, I'm happy with it. It's a very pretty color. And uh, there is record number one. And it does come in this insert. I like that this is a very nice, you could tell they put money on producing these records. A lot of times, you know, it's just a black or white plain insert but everything's really nice it comes with all the things that you need to check off there's a booklet there's um a case that has a really nice photo on it i'm kind of curious if the other records have a different photo for these cases so that'll be interesting to see so there is record number one and that is the midnight's moonstone edition so we're gonna go ahead and move on now to the lavender pressing i'm gonna make an opening here i want to be careful with this this is probably my favorite album that has come up this year it's no surprise that taylor took all the top spots of the Billboard Top 100, the top, well, <laughs> not Top 100, but the top 10 of the Billboard Top 100. Um, I, I really hope this album does well. Apparently this album cannot be nominated for a Grammy because the cutoff date for that is before the date of uh, this album release. So same photo here when you open these and I assume all the, the records are gonna have that same photo here when you open it's a beautiful nice photo so that they were able to keep that consistent and easy for the people that designed this uh, when you pull this out here there's no insert because that was just a part of the web store exclusive so no signed photo with this lavender here same thing as before i probably won't go through this booklet again in the other three because they're all look to be consistently the same so there though is the booklet that comes in the target release once again no insert photo but you do get another record and this is going to be that lavender record and wow this is gorgeous i think i do like this more than the moonstone because notice that like here it looks plain but when you tilt it the blue did not give you this texture, at least mine didn't. I'm curious if some of y'all got lucky with uh, more texture on your blue, but I really like lavender. It really, I, they called it the lavender pressing. I think they should have just gone all out and called it the lavender haze pressing because this has like a really beautiful marble look to it. So uh, there you go. There's, this is actually side B. And then over here we have side A really nice pressing uh this release does check off all the boxes for a really nice release like i said earlier from the inserts to the booklet um the uh vinyl records were uh this was 30 dollars from target the records that came with inserts were 40 dollars from her web store which considering the quality you're getting with the booklet and the case having a photo, I think it's a 
fairly priced release. What would have set it over the top if it was two LPs? I would say for a single LP, like one disc, this is pretty pricey. But for the quality you're getting and for such a great album that this is, I think that they are fairly priced. So now we're going to be moving on to the Jade Green with hand signed photo. And um, really quickly, I think I may have jumped the gun and not shown the lavender marble disc hype sticker. So I'll take these off and put them somewhere on the sleeve after when I'm done. There's that hype sticker. All right, moving on. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. I'm curious, um, for those of y'all watching this video, um, what's been your favorite songs? Comment below, because uh, everyone's top five or top ten list is so different, um, and it's really cool to see how all of these different songs are resonating with uh, people. So um, up close look there at this hype sticker, and then we'll move on to this pressing. This is the pressing I'm most excited about. If I had to get one pressing based on the mock-ups, this is the one that I was most excited about. This jade green. Same. Oh, cool. So the moonstone and the lavender have the same inside gatefold, but the I'm assuming the other three web stores have a different photo. Oh, that's so awesome. They're, they're so great. I feel like I really do have three different things. So when I pull this out here, I have a signature, love that this got a heart here, and the booklet, and the booklet, like I said, I probably, I'm not going to go through every page, it's the same as the other ones, um, but here is a different photo, and I might actually put these aside and showcase all the hand-signed photos at the end. So I'm going to put that aside, I'm going to put this insert back in and take out that jade green vinyl. I can finagle it out. There we go. Really pretty photo of Miss Taylor. Nice case. This is different from the other ones. So it was just like I said, the target kind of matched what was on the Moonstone. And wow, this is easily the best pressing. I will be so surprised if the other two top. Love this green with black smoke mixed in. There you have side A. On the back, you have side B. Absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous. And so um, for those of y'all that are watching this, uh, potentially maybe you're trying to debate which pressing to get, or maybe you're trying to uh, decide if you should pull the trigger and get all four of these variants. I honestly think that um, uh, Taylor's going to be breaking records with um, – how well this album does because of the simple but super effective marketing idea. All right, moving on to the Mahogany Edition. We got two records left. And then a cassette. <laughs> this will be a pretty lengthy unboxing video, but it'll cover this entire release. Um, if you're if you've already bought a record, I'm curious which one you went with or if you also got all four of them or if you haven't got a record, I'm curious if you're going to get all four of them or if you're leaning towards a specific one. So um, here we go. I'm trying to be very careful but also not take forever to open these. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so I already showed you all the hype sticker for this one. So here's the back again. You got the spine and this looks really nice i like it really awesome job miss taylor and the entire marketing team behind this release so i'll go ahead and i'm gonna leave that booklet in there it should be the same there we have miss taylor's signature different uh insert obviously that looks really nice i'm gonna put that to the side there and um We'll go ahead and I'm going to just double check. This is all the same. Yep, that booklet is the same as the other ones. Taking this out, uh, different photo once again. 
Only the Moonstone and the Lavender were the same. I know I sound like a broken record. Really love that this outfit is the same as this one. Oh, wait, no, just kidding. This outfit is the same as this wall. That's what got me. But different photo, really nice looking. And here we are, we're gonna go ahead and take this out. This is nice. This is a nice record. Definitely not my favorite, but it does fit the vibe of the album. So there's side A. I'm sorry, that was side B. And then here is side A. So um, this is probably, I mean, I think it's really nice, really pretty. If this was like a one and only release, I would, I would like it. But out of the stunning uh, colors that I've opened so far, this is probably not my favorite. But still, I think it looks nice with all the other ones. So uh, there you have it. That was the Mahogany Edition. Not my favorite, but still looks good. Not saying much considering they did such a good job on pressing these. All right, have one more, the Blood Moon Edition. All right, I have one more here. Sorry, it said my battery was low. Don't know if it cut off there, but um, Blood Moon Edition. So we'll go ahead and make a little incision here. There we go. Now that makes it easier for me to, to try to grab and pull down without scratching or bending or tearing anything that I don't want to bend or tear. Oh man, today's gonna be such a busy day. I was at work all day today and then I'm gonna be seeing Demi Lovato tonight. Just found out a couple days ago that Taylor is coming to Houston, where I'm from, so that's a big deal. So uh, we're looking at the Blood Moon Edition and the signed insert photo as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here is the insert photo. Oh, I love this heart. I got a really nice heart here. It's really prominent. Really nice photo too. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside. Uh, booklet, same as the other ones. So you've already taken taken a look at that. Oh, I got a little ding here, but it's okay. It's no big deal. I got four of these. <laughs> here is the last of the inside. Really nice photo. Oh, Taylor, you're getting a little confident right there. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, this is like what the other one should have been. <laughs> this looks way better than the last one. Uh, this looks like a more prominent orange with more of the smoke detail here. So I really like it. So that was side A and then this backside side B. Um, if I had to put in order after seeing them now, which one's my favorite? Easily Jade Green, then Lavender, then Moonstone, then, um, what is this called? Red Moon or Blood Moon or... Uh, Blood Moon Edition, <laughs> and then the Mahogany was my uh, least favorite of the bunch. I'm putting this in the wrong um, pocket. I probably should put that over here. So that is the um, four special editions plus the Target exclusive edition. And... Now I'd like to, sorry for that pause, I was getting all the inserts, kind of just show you what all the signed inserts look like. And so I can't kind of fit them all in here, but there's one here, one here, one there, one there. They look really nice, I think I'll frame them and put them somewhere in my living room, it'll be great. <laughs> so those are the inserts. And now we're down to the cassette. I have a cassette player. And uh, I'm really excited to open this cassette. So you have a, a hype sticker here that says Moonstone Blue Cassette, unique photos. And this is a really pretty color. At the time of this recording, this is the only release of this cassette. So um, I wonder if they'll release more or if like a deluxe version of this album comes out. Um, I felt like this album would be good because of how heavily 
Taylor marketed. I did not, I will admit though, I will did not follow her like on social media as prominently as I have before this because I followed her, started following her a lot um, during the folklore Evermore era. I mean, I loved her before that. 1989 was a huge hit, but I just didn't look at social media as much during that time. And Folklore and Evermore were surprise drops. So to see how she did this release with with um, the song announcements over TikTok and the way she hyped up the album, I just felt like it was going to be a really strong release. So um, I'm going to take off that hype sticker later. I'm going to just kind of put that to the side. And here you go. Here's the Kate. Here's the um, front. You kind of have the Moonstone look here. There you have the side of the cassette and then here you have your track list with some technical information as well as credits by the way jack antonoff is from bleachers who i've seen and is very talented has really good music i recommend you check him out don't take the money um all right here is the cassette and actually here's side one starting with lavender haze maroon and etc transparent beautiful moonstone blue cassette and then inside you have the card insert and this looks like you get everything dang <laughs> if you don't want to spend money just get the cassette you get all the photos <laughs> that's really cool um here let me focus that might help y'all a bit there you go Wow, you get everything if you uh, get the cassette. It's pretty cool. If you just kind of want to save on space and have Taylor's photos, there you go. And you even get, is there another half of this clock here? Is there no? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> there's half the clock, there's the other half, but you can't connect them. I wish like the other side of the clock was over here or like you could fold this down and like it was right here, but... Uh, <laughs> There's one through six, and then there's seven through 12. Well, half of it. So anyways, that is the inside of the card. Looks really nice. Um, honestly, if you're a cassette collector, this is one you would want to have. You get everything that was kind of slowly included in the vinyls, as far as photos go, not <laughs> the vinyls themselves, as well as a beautiful cassette. So um that is everything. That is a lot of stuff that I just unboxed. This has to be the longest unboxing video. Um, I'm sure most of y'all will have skimmed through this since this took a while or maybe watched this at twice the speed since that's what I like to do to look through stuff quickly online. But looks really, really great. There's all the spines um, side by side. Looks beautiful. Um, let me know in the comments. If you liked um, any of these particular variants, which ones you're thinking of getting, I would love to know if um, that's you. I can't wait to display this. I might uh, post this on my socials at Jason Escamilla, my personal socials. And uh, if you enjoyed this unboxing video, please do me a favor. I took a lot of time to put this together for y'all. It would mean so much to me if you could smash that like button and share this with your friends and family. And if you'd like to see more videos like this on your feed, I unbox vinyl records and home entertainment, consider subscribing to the channel. You can also uh, follow me at EskimoTV.net for reviews from myself as well as other authors. Once again, my name is Jason Escamilla from EskimoTV.net dot net.